I won't stop till I hear him say that nobody wants to pay attention to. And I'm going to show you all exactly what I'm talking about today. If you are a viewer on this YouTube channel, watch what it is that I'm about to show you. This is extremely crucial. Okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. In today's video breakdown, this is going to be an extremely important video breakdown for the future success in your trading career. We're going to be talking about the importance of drafting your own bias, having superior emotional control, doing your own cryptocurrency research, and analyzing your risk properly. I'm going to be showing you all three specific examples that we're going to get off of the computers. I'm going to share my face with you all. I'm going to dive into my phone and, and I'm going to give you guys a breakdown on why I think these things are extremely important. But before we do that, anybody that follows this YouTube channel, I cannot thank you enough for 11,000 followers. Okay. With that being said, I ask that you all share these videos with the loved one, share these videos with the friend, share these videos with the neighbor. If you are in the process of your trading journey and you have found these videos informative and helpful, I really do appreciate the love and the support and ask that you all share these videos. It will allow this channel to grow. Make sure also that you smash that thumbs up button. So I have this tweet for you all today before we get into the three examples that I want to show you all on how crucial this this type of information plays when it comes to trading these financial markets again i'm not a financial advisor this is just based off of my personal experience not only in the crypto markets but also trading commodities in the foreign exchange markets right so i said to you all just this morning people think that more technical analysis will bring them success in the markets what they truly need to grasp is the understanding and the importance of drafting your own bias having superior emotional control doing your own research and analyzing your risk properly. These are the keys to success that nobody wants to pay attention to. And I'm going to show you all exactly what I'm talking about today. If you are a viewer on this YouTube channel, watch what it is that I'm about to show you. This is extremely crucial. And if you are falling victim to these social media influencers and their incorrect biases on a day-to-day -day basis, you need to take sole responsibility for that. Unfollow these individuals and understand how toxic they are to the future of your trading career. All right. So the first example that we have over here, I said, everyone needs to wake the F up. Ladies and gentlemen, they are literally toying with your brains at this point. You are the experiment and you need to understand that. I don't understand why people don't see it because they think it's a conspiracy theory. It's not. It's not. They do not have it out for your best interest. Let me show you what it is that I'm talking about. So I tweeted this out to you all just the other night. And I want to show you all, again, this tweet has 1,000 views. Watch what I'm about to show you in the form of misinformation and how many views misinformation gets. Okay. So if you all remember back in December of 2022, Mad Money Jim Cramer. Remember, again, pay attention to details. The elite individuals, they like these these little tiny key phrases, these subliminal messages, right? And if you don't believe me, watch what it is that I'm about to show you. Mad Money, Jim Cramer urges investors to exit crypto. He says it's never too late to sell. This came out on December 5th, 2022. We come over here to the next screenshot. What did I share with you all? So I plugged in Mad Money into the Gematria calculator. Mad Money value in Gematria is 560, right? And if you scroll down on the Gematria calculator, it literally says, good morning, sheeple. What? Hmm, think about that. Now let's go over to the charts via the display that I sent you all on when Jim Cramer, specifically looking at LCX, because LCX is a cryptocurrency that we trade here at CyperX. On December 5th, where LCX token was specifically at, where Jim Cramer was telling you all to sell your cryptocurrency. Look down here. This is where that message came out to the world, where Jim Cramer was telling you all to sell your cryptocurrency. This is now currently the LCX chart as of yesterday, screenshotted. The price appreciation after Jim Cramer told everybody, the whole general population, the herd, the sheeple, as you all saw, to sell their cryptocurrency. People still think I'm the crazy one. Again, if you're watching this YouTube channel and you're subscribed, share this video, please. I know that hitting the thumbs up button, greatly appreciated. Subscribing, greatly appreciated. But what's really going to boost this type of content to individuals out there waking people up is if you take it upon yourself to copy the link of this YouTube video and share it to a friend, to a family member, right? 
come over here. We're going to get into two more examples before we hop off the computer and I go over to my cell phone and I go over some information that I have for you all. All right. I said to you all again in another tweet, literally why you should never listen to idiots on Twitter. These people, again, these influencers, these social media influencers with thousands of followers that are misleading the general population that have no credentials in this market. Okay. Look at what it is that I'm about to show you again. Here at CyberX, we try to provide value. We try to provide information ahead of the curve before the general population gets access to it based off of just simply doing research before information drops to the general public on mainstream media. Okay, that's it. That's all we do, right? So check this out. Back in November, there was a social media influencer. I'm not going to call her out by name. I'm not going to be disrespectful. If you all want to take it upon yourself to read the, the, uh, the screenshot, you're more than welcome to. Or if you guys want to go on my Twitter and see who this was. But this individual right here, Thousands of followers said, Hedera is a scam. Hedera Hashgraph specifically is what she was talking about. Okay. Look down in the comments below of her tweet. There were individuals agreeing with her because of her following base and because of the fact that she is a attractive young lady and has the effect to stimulate people's dopamine in the form of misinformation. You all understand how it's a distraction. Social media is a distraction. It's part of the game. Coming over here to another tweet, okay, check this out. This is a message that I sent to the CyberX students on the 29th of December, okay? Again, remember, her message came out on the 11th of November, right? About a month in advance before this message came out. I'm going to show you guys the charts where I was telling the CyberX students that if HBAR drops below $0.04, cents, excuse me, in the message, that I'm going to be accumulating HBAR. Again, just letting the CyberX students know what it is that I'm doing in the markets so that I'm fully transparent with my students and what it is that I'm doing, right? This is not to toot my own horn. This is to show you guys that we are attempting to steer people in the right direction, providing valuable information. Look at the charts. This is November 7th when that individual, that Twitter influencer tweeted out that Hedera Hashgraph is a scam. Again, at a bottom. This right here, on the Hedera Hashgraph chart, the HBAR chart, is when we here at CyberX message the CyberX students and let them know that if price dropped below four cents, we were going to purchase HBAR. Look at the price appreciation. This screenshot was taken just yesterday on HBAR after we tweeted that message out to the CyberX students. Again, not to tweet our own horn. It's just to show you all the misinformation that's out there and why you should not be listening to these individuals. Now, this is not the greatest example. Check this one out. This is this is just insane to me. Insane to me. And if you are falling victim to this, please take it upon yourself to be responsible. Revert back to the previous tweet that I posted out to you. Again, take responsibility. Understand that it is crucial for you to understand. I mean, at this point, especially after experience in the bear market in 2022. If you've made it out alive, please listen to what I'm trying to say to you all. Draft your own bias. Have a superior emotional control over your emotions on a day-to-day -day basis when you're involving yourself in this market. Do your own research and analyze your risk properly. Sorry about that. My alarm's going off. Um, I always wake up before my alarm. It's very interesting, actually. It's like a, it's like a healthy habit. All right. Last example before I'm done this rant and I get off here. Okay. 210,000 Twitter followers. And this is just one example of the many that I have. And again, I'm not I'm not doing this to bash people. I'm simply just a market participant who actually cares about my students, who actually cares about other people becoming successful. These other influencers, these people, these paid actors like Jim Cramer and these individuals on Twitter that are just misleading you all the time for no reason. They have no reason. There must be some type of negative influence behind what it is that they're putting out in the form of misinformation. There has to be. I don't see why it's people's agenda to just wake up in the morning and lie to people. It's disgusting and it needs to stop. Okay. So coming over here, but this guy, this, or uh, this lady or whoever, this robot, who knows who's behind this Twitter page, right? Again, people who show their face, who actually make an effort to come onto this space, either YouTube or Twitter, and actually show who they are and provide valuable information like myself and other influencers out there are the people you should be following, not these individuals, these disgusting, I don't even know, these parasites, literally, okay? 210,000 followers right here. Check this tweet out that he put out. Look at how many views it got. 511 thousand views that's half a million views why do you think 95 what go look at the statistics 95 percent of individuals market participants in this space whether it's crypto forex commodities or stocks lose money 
Why do you think that is? Scratch your head and ask yourself the question. If you're following this YouTube page, most likely you're starting to become part of the more informed individuals, the more informed crowd, the 5% of people that actually make it out alive. Whereas 95% of individuals are following this person. Look at this. He said trade signal on January 17th, short Bitcoin entry at $21,257. Use proper risk management. Don't overtrade. Look at how tight his stop loss was. And he was simply just sorting most likely because of some resistance methodology that I've taught you guys multiple times. Bank and institutions, institutionalized traders, these whales in this market do not trade those methods. Why on earth would you attempt to do that? Five, half a million. I can't. <laughs> oh, buddy, I cannot. I cannot stress enough how insane this is to just see as a trader, right, who has a community of market participants who I attempt to steer in the right direction in the form of what it is that I'm doing in the market to provide value on a day-to-day -day basis, not only in the form of this YouTube content, but what it is that I provide in the form of the CyberX course material. Again, this is not to toot my own horn. This is to spread cryptocurrency and market awareness as to why you should take it upon yourself to revert back to the tweet that I put out to you guys just this morning on what you truly need to grasp in order to become successful in this market. It has nothing to do with technical analysis. It's solely just based off of these four things. So with that being said, I know that this is a little bit longer of a video breakdown. Okay, We're going to jump over to my, my cell phone. I'm going to record myself. Okay, I'm going to go over some notes that I have written in my computer for you all. And uh, yeah, blessings to you guys. Again, if you all enjoy video breakdowns like this, where I'm just attempting to spread cryptocurrency awareness, understand the manipulation that's out there. Please share this video breakdown with a friend, with a family member. Let's get this YouTube channel. Again, a YouTube channel that actually provides value. You see individuals like this. They don't deserve they don't deserve half a million followers. I'm not saying that I deserve half a million followers, but a channel like mine or others out there, because there are others out there that support the crypto space that actually provide value in the form of good information out there. I'm not saying I'm the only one. We are the ones that should rise to the occasion to spread this information, to spread the light in a very, very dark space right now. Okay. All righty. So... <clears throat> Now that we're over here, hopefully you've stuck around for the entirety of this video breakdown. I know that me rambling on Twitter is kind of annoying and it's like, it's like move on, right? Move on. But I'm really trying and attempting to wake people up to what's really going on in the world. So in the previous um, little video series, we talked about the importance of doing your own research, having emotional stability in this market, drafting your own bias and risk management. So I have some notes here for you all that we're going to go over, okay? Here I talk about the importance of doing your own research, okay? So the importance of doing your own research when investing in cryptocurrency is extremely crucial because the market is highly speculative and volatile. You have to understand that these Twitter influencers, these YouTube influencers that have a high following count, you'll come to find out that the majority of them don't have it out for your best interest. They're literally just getting paid based off of your views, okay? I can't really speak on Twitter, but mainly that's for YouTube. There's a lot of hype and misinformation circulating in this market space, which I'm sure that you all experienced if you made it through the entirety of the bear market in 2022. And it can be extremely difficult to separate fact from fiction. So by conducting your own research, you as a market participant can gain a deeper understanding of the technology that you're involving yourself in and the potential risks and rewards that the technology that you're investing in, if it's specifically cryptocurrency that you're investing in, has to offer and the overall state of the market, right? You guys saw all of 2022, okay? All of 2022, the majority of individuals were bullish, yet we are in a bear market where every single month, month after month, after month something bad happened in the crypto market that, that created another leg down. So then why were 90% of individuals bullish all of 2022? Literally go back and fact check what it is that I'm saying. The majority of influencers, not only in the Twitter space, but also on YouTube, we're just giving you guys bullish prediction after bullish prediction after bullish prediction on Twitter and YouTube. It's because of misinformation. It's because they don't understand the overall state of the market. Now you guys see the majority of individuals, the sentiment has changed, where people are still screaming, the bottom's not in, the bottom's not in. Okay, and I'm not saying that the bottom's not in, or the bottom is in. I'm just, I'm just showing you all what the general herd consensus is, is that it's misinformation. People cannot do their own research. They don't take it upon themselves to do their own research draft their own market analysis, okay? Um, <clears throat> so with all that being said, doing your own research can help you make more informed 
investment decisions and can ultimately increase your chance of success. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just based off of my seven years in the market. Okay. So to wrap all that up, not doing your own research will ultimately lead to emotional trading, emotional, irrational decision making, and will just leave your portfolio dry. Okay, you're going to lose money in this market. I'm not necessarily saying that doing research is going to make you money in this market, but not doing your research is 110% going to make you lose money in this market. Okay, so next we're going to talk about emotional control. Emotional control, I have written down here, is a crucial aspect of successful trading. I have a couple of interviews that are going to air after this video breakdown, I think coming into like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame for you all that I have with some other traders and market participants um, that I did over the past couple of days. And in each of those video breakdowns, we talk about emotional control. I have written down here for you all, emotional control is a crucial aspect of trading the financial markets. Whether you're trading stocks, bonds, commodities, or cryptocurrencies, it doesn't matter your poison. The ability to manage your emotions can mean the difference between success and failure. Everybody thinks it's more technical analysis. Everybody thinks it's going off of some Twitter or YouTube influencers bias, that's what's going to make them money, getting signals, getting what everybody else is doing in the market. It's not. It's emotional stability. It's emotional control. It's having the ability to control who you are in this market when you involve yourself with capital that you've implemented. Okay. Um, one of the biggest challenges for traders is managing that emotional roller coaster that comes with the ups and downs of the market. You guys saw, right, the beginning of this year, when prices are rising, it's easy to become euphoric. It's easy to start chasing price action and make impulsive decisions. I try and attempt to teach the students and you here on the YouTube channel to react to the market. Don't chase the market impulsively. Set yourself up areas of interest. When the market triggers those areas of interest, react to that. Okay. Um, and then conversely, on the opposite side of things, when prices are falling, like you all saw in 2022, most likely, if you were a market participant then, it can be very difficult to remain calm and avoid making panic market decisions. Like for example, Jim Cramer telling everybody to sell at the bottom because he's already down in his portfolio and doesn't want to lose any more money. So what does he do? He goes out there and he tells millions of people to sell the bottom. That is an irrational market decision on not only your behalf if you listened, but on his behalf as a market participant steering the herd in the wrong direction. Okay. So um, I wrote down here one of the keys. So, so people will ask me, you know, how well, how can you gather emotional control, Cypress? How can you gather emotional stability? Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just based off of my personal experience. Um, one of the keys to emotional control is having a well-defined trading plan. A good trading plan includes a set of rules that you follow, guidelines that outline how you will enter and exit trades, which again, 90% of people don't do. They're just irrationally buying and selling, buying and selling impulsively here, there, here, there based off of what some stupid influencer said, and then also how much risk you're willing to take. Always manage and assess, assess your risk, okay? Um, and then last but not least, how will you manage your emotions? If you don't have a plan on how you're gonna manage your emotions, you shouldn't be a market participant, okay? Remember I tell you guys all the time to come into this market space with a neutral bias. Don't come into this market space with fear, greed, anxiousness, all of those just impulsive behaviors that will cause you to make stupid decisions in this market space. Okay. Um, I wrote down another important aspect of emotional control that no one talks about is setting realistic expectations. Like I cannot stress enough, 2022 should have been a eye opener for individuals when it comes to these realistic expectations in the market. And what I mean by that is thinking that overnight the cryptocurrency market is just going to freaking pump. One day it's going to seem like that's what happened. But you need to understand that in the process, the adoption, the mass adoption of this technology, banking institutions figuring out where they want to put their money in, what they want to put their money into, regulations coming into place. This is not going to be something that just happens overnight. Yet in 2022, you all saw everybody made it out to be like that's what was going to happen. Okay. Just checking to see if my mic was still on. Thank God it is. Okay. Um, so. It is important to understand that there's no such thing as a sure thing in this market. I cannot stress enough. I wrote that sentence down and I was like, man, you know how many people are going to be like, no, -uh, no. -uh. Yeah, that's the truth. You have to understand that we are in an unpredictable market, an unexpected market. That means that anything can happen at any given time. Okay. An uncertain market. Ripple could lose the lawsuit. Prices could tank. I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but it's possible. Anything is possible. Okay. I'm not here to spread FUD. You as an individual, a market participant, if you're not going to understand the importance of 
the fact that there's no sure thing in the market, then you're not going to be able to react accordingly. Okay. Every investment carries some level of risk and volatility. You need to be able to accept that risk. By setting realistic expectations, you can avoid becoming overly optimistic or overly pessimistic, which can help you make more rational, more rational trading decisions, which again, uh, rational trading decisions are something that 95% of individuals, market participants are just not doing. Okay. So with that being said, um, let's get into managing one's own bias. Okay. That is a crucial aspect of successful trading in these financial markets because not creating your own bias can lead to irrational trading decisions and can have a significant impact on your investment portfolio. Regardless if you trade commodities, stocks, crypto, it doesn't matter. Taking somebody else's bias, for example, that profit blue individual that I showed you, and then taking a sell position or a short position because he is, because he has a lot of followers, or he or she, I say he, I don't know who it is, realistically speaking, behind that page. Um, but but that's when the euphoria is going to come in. That's when not knowing what you're doing in this market space is going to come in. Okay, You're an uninformed market participant. Remember, when you're trading these markets, there's always somebody on the opposite side of the computer. Okay, trading against you that is more informed than you and you need to understand that so don't be the person that's less informed than the market by following all these other influencers biases one of the most common biases in trading is um, is overconfidence okay this bias can lead traders I wrote down to overestimate their abilities <laughs> which makes me laugh so hard because people have this ego that they bring to the market okay um, and that completely makes them ignore the downplay risks in the market okay overconfidence also can lead to excessive risk taking you think that you're always right naturally as human beings we have this inclination to want to be right all the time um, another bias is the confirmation bias this type of bias can lead to traders um, to seek out information that confirms their existing belief right and, and to ignore or discount information that contradicts their views uh, specifically what it is that I'm talking about, like, for example, Bitcoin maximalists, okay? And I just use them as an example because they're, like, in my personal opinion, one of the most extreme groups in the form of, um, uh, what is the, what is the tribalism in the cryptocurrency space? Or even, let's say, for example, if Ripple wins a lawsuit and XRP starts to freaking soar in price, there's still going to be Bitcoin maximalists out there that say that XRP is a scam. Mark my words. And that's what I'm talking about here, is that they are not able to adjust to market behavior. They're not able to adjust to what the markets are telling them. If the markets and price action on XRP is soaring sky high and XRP gets deemed a cryptocurrency or a currency and not a security, why on earth would there still be Bitcoin maximalists out there that for some odd reason believe that it's a security? It's because they've married a bias. They are overconfident in their analysis and they're not able to adjust to the market. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, you know, just not to, not to drag this on. I know that I'm, I'm pretty much just talking out the womb right now. Okay. And people are probably like, get on with it, Cyprus. Uh, if you're still listening again, smash that thumbs up button. This is me. I'm, I'm traveling right now. So again, I do apologize for the environment. Um, I wrote down the herd bias. The herd bias is another common bias. This bias can lead to traders <clears throat> following the crowd, even when the crowd is wrong. Excuse me. So what do I mean by this? Um, you come onto a YouTube page, you come onto a Twitter page and you see thousands of followers and you see thousands of engagement, right? Likes, retweets, whatever the case may be. And then they put out a signal. You take that signal, okay? Um, because you think other people are taking that signal. But the herd mentality, don't follow the herd, draft your own bias, do your own research, accept the risk and understand that emotional control is what's going to bring you success in this market, not more technical analysis, not more indicators, not more signals, okay? If you're listening to this still, you're one of the realest traders in the game. Maybe you're not profitable yet, but you are going to be one of the realest traders in the game because you have, number one, the discipline to sit here and listen to a guy like myself who spreads valuable information and is in an attempt to help people not only with his, uh, with his following base, but in his private community as well, and you're still sitting here listening to this. So do me a favor, please, and thank you. Smash that thumbs up button. I do appreciate the love and support. If you stuck around this far, I literally cannot explain from the bottom of my heart how grateful and thankful I am for the audience that I do have and the individuals that do listen and don't spread that negative energy. I just, oh, man, this, 
the Twitter space, the internet space, the YouTube space, it's just so toxic. My attempt in making this video breakdown, right, what's my point here, Cyprus, is to just provide you guys value, to wake you all up, to understand what's what it really takes to be successful in this market, okay? These are some of the key talking points that I have for you all today. I hope that you all enjoyed this video breakdown. You took something valuable away from this. Hopefully, you don't think I'm just rambling on. Um, and hopefully, what it is that we're doing here at CyberX is helping individuals, at least if not helping you all, um, you know, in the form of steering you in the right direction when it comes to trading these markets in the sense of how it is that we technically analyze the markets. Again, nothing that we constitute here is financial advice. I don't tell you guys where to buy or sell or anything like that. I just attempt to teach you guys how it is that I look at the markets, right? Hopefully, at least, at a minimum, this video will take you to doing your own personal research, take you down the rabbit hole of waking up, unclicking the little follow button from all these toxic Twitter influencers and YouTube influencers, and start to follow real influencers who provide value and information. So blessings to you all. I appreciate the love and the support. I'm going to be traveling for the next like month switching locations so um with that being said again like i said I, I apologize for the environment my environment over the next couple of weeks is going to change drastically with that being said as always <laughs> be cognizant please be aware be aware that's all it takes and i'll see you guys in the next youtube video breakdown i won't stop till i hear him say oh, oh, oh.